wonderful idea of um, a show called Make Me a Movie. Um, it's about teenagers and young adults competing with each other. They have to make the best movie clip. Um, they have to make it every week. It has to be five to seven minutes long. Um, it has to be professional or as professional as they can because they're like amateurs. Um, um, the presenter, one of the people seems to be like Jack Black because he's funny and he knows, yeah, he knows like, things about films. Uh, we wanted, yeah, we wanted four judges. We wanted um, Spielberg, who's a director. Mark, yeah, Mark Gibson, who's a who's an actor and, and yeah, and Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, as uh, he's an actor and he's young, so he knows what's going on. And and um, and another uh, fourth one, a woman, woman. but we haven't decided that that would be it. Um, we um, every week I have a new video to make um, and it will be like one major musical video of dancing and singing and living horror, a thriller, a comedy, um, a romance or hey, a, 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 a music video. video. Like every week, like before week is a horror week, um, yeah. we want to do a thriller of John Jackson mm -hmm. directed in mm -hmm. and if it's like a musical week, we want to do John Travolta because he, cause he has like, you know, yeah. he has three like, like, that. And if it's like a music video, like someone like Beyonce or um, oh, uh, just Brother, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the prize is to um, you, you you won't get money. You get you get all the company you need to make an international movie. So well, they'll like, like take you to like Hollywood, Hollywood and to make you make your like investment. And you yeah. have like actual yeah. professional producers mm -hmm. helping you. And the, oh, and the public vote every week. Um, in the internet and they can go to see like to see which one's like the best and all the ones that are more entertaining and we think we be popular because a lot of young people, even older people will watch it and we think we'll be uh, global because um because uh, a lot of people um, everyone have like different ideas about the film and around and we want and they will inspire on. people in other countries and then somehow go to another one in their own country. We wanted to give like 40 percent of our business um, for a million dollars, pounds or something. And, um, and, um, and we had more of we could fit it in. We need to buy our TV programme called, <laughs> called The Jezebel. It's a bit like the in-betweeners, if you watch that, where it's based on the where it's based on young children, um, it's based on like young teenagers, but instead of it being boys, it's based on girls, because a lot of um, TV shows are based on boys, so like we thought it would be global, because I think we are quite sick of looking at boys on TV programmes, so I think that other people would want to look at young girls as well, how they do. We're going to have... Um, <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna be a quite a big hit, we think. Like the first storyline, we're gonna like go in with a big issue out. straight away. Out, it's on. Um, we're gonna have a big issue. It's gonna be on like um, something to do with a rape. There's four girls and their best friends, and they're at a party. And then there's a girl that they know, and then as she's going home, she's attacked, and sexually. she confronts. She's sexually attacked, and she confronts him one of the girls, and. One of the girls, like, she feels a bit awkward about knowing about it, so she keeps the secret, and her best friends know there's something up, so they have a big argument, and then she finds out, and then the girl tells her who done it, and then it's a big storyline, so, um, but we leave it on a cliffhanger so that you want to join in next week, so you come back to our show. And we're going to have four famous people starring in it, have we done? Taylor. <laughs> Taylor starring. So they're performing at the party. Yeah, and then that's it. Thank you, goodbye. Hey, bye. 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 Hello. 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 We are the Raw Productions, and we would like to talk to you about our new TV show called Kids Gone Bad. Kids Go Bad, sorry. The show is basically about, it's a mix between Waterloo Road and The Bill combined together, and it's about two girls, well, it's about a group of people, yeah, friends, that's in a lesson, you know, usually how you, how you, normal schools are, a bit of gossip, a bit of trouble, the goody goodies and all of that. And after that, 
um, two girls called Latoya and Sequisha oh, go to no. <laughs> <laughs> go off to go off to I don't know maybe Primark and you know, have a little Jack and Spree and then that's when the police come involved and then the police kind of like you know obviously they arrest them and the girls like no and then yeah and then it continues to the next episode say fourth. Marguerite? Um, it's basically set like just in a normal school and it has like all like different kind of teachers, not like teachers that don't care about like, education and stuff, it's all what teachers like care? different and um, we have unlike totally unknown actors, like completely new people that would be like recognised and stuff. And um, there'd be a two to three like minute advert just to tell you what it's about, not too long to show you give the plot away maybe it last for thirty minutes. And it would um it would globally work because it's targeted at teenagers and not, not normally te teenagers might act like that, so it's different to see how different people would usually talk and stuff. And it's a mix between Waterloo Road and the film. It is a TV show called Hell's Island. Um, it's where we have ten completely unknown people um, on an island or maybe somewhere remote, and in, they have to basically survive for about six weeks. The winner can get um, prize money, probably like ten thousand pounds or something like that. Um, it'll have a one-hour episode. Um, it's on six weeks, yeah. Um, and during it, they have to do tasks, uh, different tasks, all to do with different TV shows. So they can do singing for the X Factor. They can um, do different jungle tasks, like from Man's Celebrity. They can do game show things. So. Um, things dancing, you can make them act out scenes from films or something. It'll be aimed at teenagers. Um, well, um, sponsored by Top Shop. Yeah, right. Um, you have a celebrity host, maybe someone like Chase Crawford or something. And um, that's about it. Oh, and our slogan is Who Will Go to Hell with That? Slogan. And it's just a drama about what will happen to the world. It's like, like things about the devil and Jesus and stuff like that. And it's basically about um, yeah, things that the things that will happen when he comes and how we could just change that and like things he would do to like like stop our faith and stuff like that. Where things that we could do to I don't know to intervene with all of that, not to be. Um, it's about um, the devil just coming and tricking people, um, manipulating their minds and sort of hypnotising them. He destroys the earth, like when God said let there be light and stuff. Um, he's going to say let there not be light, just do the opposite of what um, God did. He's going to kill priests, um, um, destroy, all um, destroy all religions and that's why um, it's going to have a, an impact on everyone else because everyone in the world has like a different religion as well. So there's like Hindu, Islam, Christianity, Jehovah's Witnesses, um, Scientology, all that. And um, it's got to do with the world, it's like he's destroying the world too. Everyone yeah. in the world like, If they carry on like the way we're carrying on now, mm -hmm. like um, these things will happen and it's not just a myth and stuff. Um, it's sort of interesting because it's not like any of the other thriller horror stories. And the dragons will get, um, will offer them a quarter of our company's earnings um, because they've got to uh, have some of it as well. Yeah. And the devil is going to be handsome so that he can sort of um, just yeah, manipulate himself into yeah. different things and they won't expect, so expect it. And then at the end of the day, they like realise what happened. Yeah, so and they're living in that situation. It just shows that you can't trust um, people in these days. And so God comes and Jesus comes and the devil comes with all these um, crew and God comes with these angels and stuff and they sort of have a fight about it. And it's just to do something that's unseen and uh, yeah, unknown. Yeah, yeah, so that's basically it.